Writer-director John Lee Hancock's The Little Things ends by subverting the latent expectations of the crime thriller genre, diving deep into the fractured psyches of the primary characters instead. Hot? Hotter? Hottest? Bingo. The Little Things follows disgraced former L.A. cop, Joe Deke Deacon, Denzel Washington, who gets embroiled in a murder case during a routine evidence pickup. The Little Things is currently available in theaters and for streaming on HBO Max. Tomorrow's no good, my CEO told me. Uh, I called your CEO. Why Joe Deacon is haunted by his past, Baxter's actions mirror that of Deacon, who is perennially haunted by his past, and the ghosts of the victims he could not avenge. The ending of The Little Things reveals that years prior to the current case, Deacon was involved in a similar case up north, where two women were murdered in the woods. Sensing movement nearby, Deacon shoots without thinking, and it turns out to be the third victim, who had almost gotten away before being shot by him. Although his partner helps him cover up the incident, it marks Deke's downfall, leading to a divorce, heart attack, and full-blown psychological breakdown. The guilt of killing an innocent girl manifests in disturbing ways, such as when the audience sees Deke speaking soothingly to a victim's corpse on the morgue slab and witnessing their phantoms in his dark, sordid hotel room. With Sparma's murder, the cycle of violence and guilt repeats itself, with Deke helping Baxter cover up for his crimes. What the Little Things ending really means, it's the little things that get you caught, Deacon muses to Baxter, when the two starts working together to catch the killer at the beginning of the little things. This phrase is repeated towards the ending, when Deke helps Baxter cover up his crime, post which, it assumes a whole new layer of meaning altogether. By playing into the hackneyed tropes of cyclic inevitability in the neo-noir genre, wherein the young promising, morally scrupulous cop repeats history by aping the actions of the guilt-ridden, disgraced older cop, The Little Things emerges as a limiting, dated period piece set in the 90s. The ending not only absolves Baxter of guilt, but further feeds into his delusion that his actions were justified and that justice had been meted out. Moreover, by letting the real killer off the hook, Deacon jeopardizes the safety of innocent women, turning a blind eye to the repercussions of his actions as a police officer. Hope you liked that video, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe to us, and we will see you in the next video. How's the trunk space?